Hey Facebook world, back on the live. As always, if you're watching later on YouTube, please hit subscribe so you don't miss any of our content, put lots out. If you're on Instagram, etc., share, like, uh, do all the usual stuff. If you feel that people need to uh, hear this or benefit from it. Um, and also before we get into today's topic, I just want to say, um, lots of thank you for all the messages messages of support that I'm getting around sharing some of this information i think it's really really important we get lots of this out to everyone and um actually on the topic that i put out today regarding vaccines and information actually interviewing zed phoenix tomorrow so i'm going to go deep into where he's got his research from and, and all around that so uh, lots of uh, interesting interviews coming out and I've got Tom Barnett's interview coming out <laughs> I wanted to put it out today or tomorrow but we're having a lot of time compressing it because it's quite a long interview to get onto to Facebook so we do that um, but today I wanted to talk about uh, another consultation that I had the other day now sometimes I wish I could record these and play them for you because if you heard on a weekly basis some of the things that I get told from from clients potential clients about the experiences they've had with consultants specialists and doctors You'd never go there. You'd never go back, um, and it's quite scary. And talking to this lovely lady who's been dealing with migraines for the last God knows how many of years. It was about five, six years we dealing with migraines, and she said to me, Ryan, I don't know if you're about to help me because I'm quite a complex case. I've been to see all the doctors, specialist consultants, and none of them have been able to help. And in fact, I've just been passed from one to the other. And when we delved into it, she actually explained to me what she what she tried what what hadn't worked etc in fact of all the medications she'd been on the fact that she'd had different mris the fact that they even put botox in her head um all the different things that, that, that they've done and i said to her in my opinion you haven't seen anyone when 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 she said look every time i have this food every time i eat certain foods i get a i get a mouse in fact the, the migraines got so bad that she was actually having seizures to the point where she'd be on the floor frothing at the mouth and she said every time i have certain foods i get this and the doctor said no it's nothing to do with food that's that's ridiculous and to me it's just like how on earth can you say that it's like when people tell me say to me about aspartame or aspartame we want to say it doesn't cause reactions it's not bad at all well when i have clients that have it they have seizures or they, ha they get dizzy or whatever happens they have different different reactions so you know who are you going to believe doctor scientist bit of paper or your body your body tells you all you need to know and for me this lady wasn't a complex case at all her body was toxic deficient internally balanced and overly stressed and her weakness was migraine once her, once her, her system was so systemically toxic that that's what's happening i said before your body i mean everyone's got a certain toxic threshold and if you keep on blowing that balloon up one day it will eventually burst and my weakness was my gut and my skin other people have different weaknesses and whatever that weakness in the chain is it'll break and that'll be your issue and so this lady all she'd been was passed around from having more medications steroids surgery etc um sorry not surgery steroid in injections botox and i said to her you actually haven't tried anything yet in my opinion because you haven't actually got to the root cause of these things i said did any of them actually ask you why you're getting uh, these migraines or why you think you're getting them she said no it's like well this is what we're going to do and as i said before my video last last week how I asked her, how long have these doctors spent asking you about your situation and what you've been through and what you're eating, um, your mental and emotional state, what you've got in your in your mouth or anything is in your teeth, dental work, all different things, work life balance, uh, traumas. She said they, they haven't. So, well, once again, how can someone prescribe something for you without even knowing you? And so, a lot of the time, people come to me and they think they're a complex case. We're actually, they're not. We just got to do the things that create health. And once you do those things, it's amazing how the body starts to heal. Always say, you know, your body's default setting is health. We just have to get out of its way. And so if you're dealing with a chronic issue, you might, you may have, you have these. And when you get these issues, you know, they can be all consuming. They can really change your life. You can be someone who is social, going out all the time, having friends, family, and, and seeing them going out for, f for food or playing sport. And when you get an issue like this, because you've been living modern life, and you know everyone's got something right it's normal i said before it's not normal it's just common when you get something like this and it, it changes who you are you be if, you, if you're like that and if it impacts your life for so long without you being able to to overcome it then it can just become who you are and you can just think oh this is just who i am well in fact it's not who you are you weren't born that way unless you had a rare genetic disorder and you're born that way 
it's different. Otherwise, you know, if you come on when you're 15, 20, 25, 30, it shows you that your body was healthy before, but something's happened to take it past that toxic threshold or get a systemic issue, and that's why these issues come on. I said before, someone else may get cancer, someone else may get Alzheimer's, someone might get chronic fatigue, someone may have PCOS or thyroid issues. Whatever it is, it comes from the body being having a systemic issue, being toxic, deficient, internally balanced and overly stressed, and then you have to do things that create health which, you know, really important. Obviously, diet and nutrition, but then your mental and emotional health. And mental and emotional health is, is huge. You have to look at the body biologically, um, obviously physically. You have to look at it in all different aspects. And this is why it's so important to start to understand what you need to do to create health. As I always talk about, you can't have health and disease at the same time. They're like oil and water. They don't mix. Um, and that's what we do is very different. We don't treat disease, you know, cut, burn, poison, medicate. What we do is we treat the person who has a disease and we do all the things that create health and once you do that it's amazing the results you can get so if you've been dealing with, a, with an issue and you haven't been able to overcome it and you think you're a complex case and you haven't tried all these things in terms of what to do to create health you know you've just been seeing doctors consultants that just pass you to their next specialist and we, as i said before we call specialist people that know more and more about less and less and to know absolutely everything about nothing then maybe it's time to try a different approach and to start giving your body uh, everything it needs to be healthy, to create health and then to remain healthy. All right, and if you need help with that, I said before, if I resonate with you, give me a shout, inbox me here or send me an email at ryan at reviveyourself.co or you can go, with some, <laughs> go, go and work with someone else you resonate with because there's nothing worse than living life in pain, especially when you don't have to. You see it time and time again with the testimonials we put out. I put them out, obviously I'm a businessman and, I'm, and I, I, I want to, Obviously, take our, take our business to the next level because I want to help many people, but I also do it because I want you to know, just like my, my first mentors did and my coaches do, they want you to know how, how the life doesn't have to be this way and how you can start living life on your terms again rather than your illness or your issues you've got, whether it's skin issues, whatever it is, rather than impacting your life, you can start living life on your terms again. Okay, hopefully that helps. And if you sit there thinking, I'm a complex case, you know, the worst thing that can happen to someone in this sort of in this sort of area is for them to really take on the identity of the disease or the or the illness that they've got and they start you know, I see it quite a lot of the time people posting you know woman versus PCOS or you know woman with, or man with gut issues on on social media and they really start to take ownership of that it's the worst thing that can happen because that isn't who you are all these are are issues um, that have come from the underlying root cause and once we get to that root cause they'll disappear I've seen it time and time and time again so you know just have to come at things from a different perspective anyway hope this helps this person's done a free now that's awesome six months I couldn't get out of bed there you go Julia just put it on Julia I can't wait to get our story out Julia it's once again it's been processed I've given it to my guy Paul putting our, the story together because that's going to be a, a story that's going to change people's lives it's Julia um, you see, see her comment there when she came to me, she was she was in a bad way. Chronic fatigue had meant she completely changed her life. She wasn't able to do anything she lit, she wanted. She couldn't even get out of bed. She was really depressed, and you know, even she was a bit skeptical because she's like, "Well, how can Ryan know more than doctors, etc." And she took that leap of faith, and uh, now she's living life on her terms again. Energy, in fact, we've got a little bit emotional on the call because you know it's 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 really heartwarming to hear how much people's lives can change when they start to do things differently and start to live life how they want to again makes a big difference thank you carly um and so yeah it's really important for people to understand that you can heal you can heal you just got to come at things from a different perspective and once you start doing that changes that you can it can happen are awesome as i always say you know when when a man hasn't got his health he's got one dream you know, but when he has got his health, he's got a million. And so that's what I want you to be able to get to. Not just get to the point like where you're wishing you were healthy. I want you to be healthy so you can do all the things you want to do. Holidays with your friends and family or your husband, you know, have, hit that love life or sex life back. Be able to take your shirt off at the beach and enjoy yourself. Not worry about your skin conditions. Have energy to play with your kids or to do the hobby you want. Whatever it is, I want you to be able to, to do that. Because I know what it's like to live life and not be able to do that and to worry about how you look and not have the energy and not, not be able to go out and eat with friends because it's going to impact your gut or, you know, you can be tired, etc. Whatever it is, I know. Not to be able to do things spontaneously, to not have the energy to do it. I know what that's like. 
and I don't want you to have to go through it. I want you to be living the life you want on your terms, doing all the things that you love. Because otherwise, you know, what is what is there? Life's here for living, it's here for enjoying. It's not there to be living in pain and illness. Anyway, as I said before, if you're dealing with a chronic issue and you want help, then please send me an email at ryan at reviveyourself.co or an inbox. Or if I don't resonate with you, please go and find someone that does and work with someone who get, consistently gets results because you don't have to live life like this, all right? You can start to enjoy life again and get your health back. Uh, otherwise, as always, stay happy, stay healthy. Go and do the things that create health. Get out amongst nature. You know, do, in exercise intelligently. Hot and cold showers, good food. Spend time with friends and family and uh, listen to the good stuff and consume good stuff for your ears and eyes as well as your mouth. As always, stay happy, stay healthy. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.